Hey guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to install mods on Monster Hunter Rise for PC. Mods similar to having monster health bars on your screen so that you can see what health percentages they are and how much health they actually have, as well as a little damage meter to show how much damage you do with your own weapons. So to install mods, we're going to go to a website called Nexus Mods. You'll find the link in the description to the exact mod page that I'm going to take you to. One thing you do need to note that you need to actually log in. You need to make an account. It's free. You can just make a, a free account on the site on Nexus Mods. Go to the link that I have in the description for the specific mod for the health bars. It's this one over here. It's called MHR Overlay Monster HP and Damage Meter and more. I'm not really sure what the and more part is just yet. But when you open the link, you will see this page here and what you're gonna do is scroll down and look to the left here. You'll see there's a section that says files and inside files here, there's the main files and you can click download right over here. So when you click download under files, make sure it's this one, click download, it will go to the screen here. Now you need another mod first before this one will work. So you can actually click this blue link over here and this will open up another mod called reframework, which is needed to make the mod actually work in your game. And this is the first one over here. So you go down, you scroll down, you click files, you click reframework over here, you click the download button just like we did on the previous mod. So when you click download over here, it will basically take you to this screen. You're going to click slow download since you're a free user, you're not paying a premium. And this will download the mod instantly. It will download it right there. And then you go back to your original mod that we're going to get the health bars one, the overlay, and you're going to just click download there. And you're also going to do the slow download for this one to get both of those files. So with the two mods downloaded, you will have them in your download folder. You just have to navigate there into wherever your downloads are stored and you go to those folders. There are zip files and you're going to extract them in their current location just for now so you can get the files. So you can basically empty the zipped folders. I use WinRAW for this because it's just perfect, but there should be a default program that should let you extract them as well. So what we're going to do is select them and we're going to copy them. This is a folder called Ultra Run and a DLL file. And we're going to go to Steam because my game is installed on Steam. You go to Library, Collection, and go to where your game is in your collection over here right click and you're going to go on manage and then browse local files and this is going to take you to where the game is installed and what you're just going to do is actually just paste the files in this folder right over here you're just going to paste them you'll see mine wants to replace them because i already have them in there yours will just want to paste immediately there's nothing to replace it's just going to make new files if you don't want the mods anymore all you have to do is delete that auto run folder and that special dll file that we just placed there as well now when you open up the game after installing the mods for the first time there'll be this window here for reframework that opens up here you can actually just close that don't really worry about it it's just there to kind of let the the overlay actually work so yeah that's all you really need to know once you're in game you'll see there's no health bars just yet in the village all you have to do is actually just go start a quest and you will see health bars in the quest like this it will show at the bottom of your screen like we showed you right at the beginning of this video it will show you all of the bosses or the monsters that are in that map what their health is the actual like value like in the tens of thousands or how how however high it may be, the percentage of health they have left. This does work in multiplayer as well, so if you want to track the the monsters in multiplayer quests as well, it, it works there as well. You're not really gaining a huge advantage by knowing this health, but it's just a nice add-on to the game, and there's plenty of mods that you can actually check on Nexus Mods to, to try for the game as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.